So this is a very common requirement in Power BI that the reports should be prepared in a way that we are able to convert our values into different currencies on just a click on slicer. And here you can see, I can convert my values from JBP to USD just by clicking on this slicer. Now in this video, I would tell you that how do we establish a complete system in Power BI where we can convert our values from one currency to another based on the slicer value selected. And before we start, let us take a look at our data that we are going to use in this video. You can see that I currently have only a single table of data in my Power BI. And for this table, we have three columns date, product, and amount. This amount column is in one single currency. For example, I would say that this amount column is in British pounds for now. And we need to be able to establish a system to convert that to USD if the user likes to see that. Now, using this data, if I, if I have to do the reporting, I will go to my report view here and I will drop in a matrix and for that matrix, I can drop in the product here in the rows column and I will drop in the amount here in the values column. And you can see that system has broken down our total sales into three different categories. But of course, these values are in British pounds. System has automatically done the sum for the amount column when you dragged in the amount here into the values. System has automatically used the sum but it is always better to properly define a measure for the sum as well. And for that, what you will do is you will simply click on new measure here and you would say total sales equals sum of and then refer to the amount column that is total sales amount column, close the bracket, press enter and definitely make sure that you format this correctly. And once it is done, if we drag in the total sales column here into the values part, you will see that we are getting the same values here, but this is a properly defined measure. We should always be using this one. So I will remove this sum of amount from here. Now getting to the main point here, and that main point is how do we get a slicer here where we have the two options that is amount in British pounds, which is the local currency here and the amount in USD. Well, for that, we need to first of all have that data that uh, British pounds and USD in a table here. And for that, we will actually need to make a new table and you can do so by clicking here on the enter data. Once you do that, you should be seeing this pop up here. In the first column, I would say GBP and in the second row for in the same column, second row, I would say USD and let us name this table as TBL underscore currency and click on load and system will immediately load this table to your Power BI. If I navigate here, you can see this table has been loaded. If you like to change the column name, you can do that as well by clicking here and writing currency and that is fine. So the first task has been done. That is we have defined a new table for these two values. Now when we go back to our report view, we will click on this icon slicer icon here and in that slicer icon, you can now drag in this currency field here or here anywhere you like and you would see that you now have two options for the currency that is GBP or USD. But now the slicer will not automatically start working. We will have to do some working here and that working will be defined in a new measure. So I will click on this new measure here and I would say let us name it as amount or let us name it as sales adjusted. You can name it anything that seems reasonable to you. And now we will have to start working with the switch function. And here in the switch, first argument that we need to mention here is that which value has been selected from the slicer. So I would first, rather than giving anything, 
I would give another function and that is selected value. So I would say switch selected value TBL currency currency column and then close the selected value function and now we need to give the value one and result one. So if we say that the system uh, the value one that is selected is GBP I'm writing that in inverted commas close the inverted commas and then comma now the result one the result one is total sales that is the first measure that we have calculated and comma again so what we are saying switch if the selected value TBL currency currency column is if it is GBP then give me total sales and if it is USD then give me total sales and now we will multiply that with the exchange rate now there can there is possible that you already have exchange rates in your power bi file now you can refer that to that particular column and that particular rate and in my case what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the ending rate of 2023 the year end rate and that was 1.27 and since it is GBP to USD conversion, I will be multiplying that. So, you know, of course, there are situations when we need to divide and when we need to multiply. That is basic Forex understanding. So I will skip that for now. Let us uh, focus on this Power BI function. So let me repeat. Switch selected value TBL currency. If that value is GBP, then the answer should be total sales. If that value is USD, then total sales into 1.27. And now close this bracket and let us press enter and before moving forward I would request you to make sure that this is properly formatted as a whole number and with a comma separator and finally let us drag down this value here into the adjusted into our matrix as sales adjusted and you can see right now we are not seeing any value this is because nothing is selected here so if I click on this GBP, you can see that I have the same values here. And if I click on USD, you can see that the values have been converted using the logic that we have given. Let us see again. If I click on GBP, these values are reflected as same as data that has been used in this matrix that has been used in the table and if i click on usd you will see that the values have been converted so i hope that you have found this very interesting